Hello everyone, in previous video we learned about queues in C sharp. In this video we are going to learn about stacks in C sharp with the example. Now in C sharp a stack is a data structure that stores a collection of elements and allows access to only the top element. It follows the last in first out otherwise LIFO principle which means that the element added last will be the first one to be removed. A stack has two main operations push and pop. The push operation adds an element to the top of the stack while the pop operation removes the top element from the stack. Other operations that can be performed on a stack include peak which used to get the value of the top element without removing it and count that is being used to get the number of elements in the stack. C -sharp provides a built-in stack class that can be used to implement a stack data structure. This class is a part of the system.collection.generic namespace and provides all necessary operations for creating and manipulating a stack. Let's go ahead and take a look at the example. Firstly, you have to make sure that using system.collections namespace is added. Otherwise, you can go ahead and say stack, a variable name for the stack. For example, uh, my stack is equals to new stack. Now all you have to do press on this name and then click this quick actions and refactorings. Here you have to select using system dot collections otherwise you can manually type it there. Alright here we have created our stack. So how we can add values? To push some elements onto the stack we can use the name of the stack dot push. Now put parentheses, inside parentheses we have to pass in values, for example apple. I am going to copy this uh, and paste that here and change values, for example banana. The next one as cherry and the next one as date. Okay, now we are going to see how we can print out the items in the stack. For that we are going to use a for each. Firstly. I am going to specify the type of the value that this stack could take in. For example, here this is taking a string. There is a way to predefine what are the type of values that this stack can be stored. I will uh, let you know that later. Here I can say string, a variable name for that as item in stack. The variable name for that is my stack. If you don't know the data type, you can use object here. Okay. Otherwise, you can say string. Now, put braces inside the braces. I'm going to say console dot right line inside the parentheses item. Now if we run this, we should be able to see the output as apple, banana, cherry and date. Here we added this date at the end but it shows that as a first one because the stack follows last in first out principle. All right. Now we are going to see how we can remove an item from the top of the stack. Here I am going to comment this for h4 now and in the below I am going to store the removed item in a variable. We can say string and the variable name to store the removed item. The thing is if you don't know the type of the stack you can say object here. So I will set this equals to the stack name dot 
pop okay now if you know the type for example a string here you have to type cast that as a string by putting a string inside parenthesis before the my stack dot pop here this will remove the item from the top of the stack and then it will store in this variable now what we can do just say console dot right line in the parenthesis I will say removed item as concatenate that is removed item okay now we can see all items again in the stack using for each I'm going to copy that code and paste that here then let's go ahead and run this here we got date removed but other items are available like cherry banana apple now as I told you we can especially say what is the type of values will be for that after this stack we are putting angle bracket and specify the type for example a string and here also a string inside angle brackets now I'm going to run this again we got the same output now what if we say int here it will show us a error because we are going to try to add strings to the stack instead we can say numbers here this shows an error also what I can do remove this string instead use int and here I am going to say int alright here in the for each I had to say int now we can run this All right we got removed item as 16 the last one is taken out as the first one and other values are available in the stack okay I hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe thank you